So while all the crazy stuff happens next week, next year, <laughs> and we've got Trump and DeSantis, and we've got Democrats hating Republicans and all that, uh, Jesus is real. <laughs> He's the one thing we can count on. And he lives in us, and so all that's going to be just stuff to distract you. That's all it is. And it's going to be from people who don't know him. So I asked this question earlier. How do you know design when you see it? How do you know? Megan kind of hit it on the head, and we're, and we're going to dig into that a little bit. But I'm going to walk you through a little exercise, okay? All right, what's that? That's a rock. When you see a rock, do you think of design? There you go. So that picture right there, do you think of design? No. Probably not, right? Dumb as a rock kind of thing, right? Now, the reason most people don't see design in that is because it's just a plain old rock. You don't think of intelligence with a rock. Matter of fact, we even use it against people as a metaphor, right, for how smart they are. Now, what about that? We have a pile of rocks. Do you think of design when you see that? There's a picture. What's the surrounding? <laughs> Just the picture. Do you think of design when you see that? Leaning towards possibly. All right. Likely. All right, possibly. It's a pile of rocks. Could have been all kinds of things, but it's random. The one thing you described this is I don't see I don't see any order there or anything. I see a pile, right? So you'd say to yourself, I don't know if there's a real purpose to that pile, and I don't really know <laughs> if anything's ordered about it. Was there any plan for that pile? Uh, could it be from uh, plate tectonics or uh, wind movement or whatever, right? If it's in the middle of an open field. Then now, see, what he's doing is he's qualifying the pile. So I'm, that's what I'm doing with these pictures. Here's the next one. All right, for, I'm sorry, let's start with this. When we think that of things that occur naturally with no design, we usually think of it's random, there's no guidance to it, and I don't see any purpose for it. What about that pile of rocks? <laughs> He's jumping on it. He's going, oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> so he, he, it's, hard, it's hard to believe that this pile of rocks formed itself that way without some purpose behind it. It seems to have some order, right? So with this one, we might say this is a little more complex setup here than the pile. And we'd say, you know, it is kind of intricate, and it's improbable the rocks would ever form that way on their own. Believe it or not, I did this with non-believers, and they said, nah, that, that could happen naturally. Now, in order, but but. First of all, we don't even need that. We can just look and say, you do know your bias, right? You know your bias, right? You have to be biased to look at that and think that, could, that might happen on its own. How about this one? Ah, she immediately thought rocks don't form in a path like that on their own, right? So in this case, we have order all of a sudden, right? So all of a sudden, there's some set of laws here. Somebody drew boundaries, and there's, and there's controls. There's controls in place here, right? It's kind of, we're getting to where we're thinking in our head. These are all rocks. There's just different assembly rocks, different looks of them. And we're starting to look. We immediately would look at that last one and say, I don't think that happened on its own. Fair? Okay. How about that one? Those are rocks. <laughs> Nobody. Why do you immediately know that can't possibly be, po even possibly be, random and unguided? All right, there's something even more important. How do you know what this book is? Ah. Oh. It says, so it, there's, it's called information. How do you know what those rocks are? Because if you ever took school or saw pictures, right away you know, that's Washington. I see Jefferson. I see Roosevelt. I know that's Lincoln. 
information is now being given to you, okay? There's no information in the path. All there is is order and correctness, right? So for now, if I just leave out information, it's enough to know there has to be an intelligent designer because on this side, they're highly improbable. It's highly, statistically highly improbable those would ever happen on their own. There seems to be a plan here and there seems to be a, pr a purpose behind it. Am I making sense? Now, believe it or not, this is part of what you need to be confident in in sharing the gospel. Because you're going to run into more and more people that when you finally get around to peeling back things and talking to them, and it's happening now with young people, there's no purpose in life. I'll never buy a house. Are you kidding? I'm not paying my student loan back. You know why? It's hopeless for me. I have nothing. I'm not going to get anywhere. Right? And more and more, this kind of stuff's pretty valuable, actually. Say, really? Have you ever noticed how everything around you is designed? <laughs> Do you ever notice that there could be someone who actually has a purpose for you? So if you understand this, it becomes valuable for sharing. So when we talk about design, we're back to this idea of highly improbable, ordered, and purposeful. This is pretty cool stuff. So question for you. Um, in order for something to be designed, does it have to be proven scientifically? Do you have to apply rules of science or even logic in order to determine design? 